Hi, this is David Dow. Uh, a lot of people know me as Master Dow from when I was teaching martial arts. And I'm doing this video because I saw, well, I did a search on like starting over or um, the failed business starting again, um, things like that. Uh, because as some of you know, I um, had a martial arts school for 19 years under a few different names, but basically the same business. Um, different structures, as an LLC, sole pro proprietorship, etc. Um, and when I did that search, I kept getting every uh, like internet marketers that said, theoretically, if they lost everything, how they'd start over again. So, I mean, that is useful. There's some good stuff in a lot of those videos. But I wanted to actually start a video, hopefully, showing myself going from having had a failed business. And I didn't go too much in why it failed, but... Um, I survived 9-11, two wars, a recession, and then I couldn't survive the prosperity. Um, there's a lot of reasons why I failed, and at some point I may do that um, in a later video. But um, the important thing is that um, I have 19 years of experience, and I'm going to use that to start over. Um, with that, I want to journey my progress. So, Having had to leave the business, it basically another business was born out of it from um, a person who used to be an employee, um, but I'm not part of that. So I had to literally start, because business wasn't doing well, so obviously I have no savings. So I basically started from zero. Um, since that point, I have a job at a convenience slash gas station, I don't want to say the names. Uh, I'm really grateful for that job. It doesn't pay anywhere near enough to cover my bills, but it was the only company that gave me a job so far. And it was the first one, so I'm really grateful for that company. And um, someday if I... I will actually say the name and all that. Um, but for this video, in the tip, I don't really want to be putting into the company, especially if I have to stay there for a while. Um, also, I'm doing a uh, DoorDash type um, I would do like Uber or Lyft. The problem was uh, during all the ending of the business, my uh, vehicle registration came due. And I ordered it in August. It is almost October, and I still don't have them yet. So you have to wait at least 30 days before you can go in and try to get replacements. So I can't do any of the more profitable quote-unquote driving. I also applied for a company that delivers alcohol. They're full because I guess the tips are pretty good, much better than your typical food delivery. Um, but that's what I'm doing now. So I've almost hit, I mean, you can always fall farther. Um, what I'm trying to get is I don't want to have to go back to where I grew up, to my parents' house. I, I mean, I'm 50. I really don't want to have to go that back that far. That, that would be another fall. So I've hit a ledge. If you think of an analogy of falling down a pit, um, and it's a narrow ledge that I can usually fall off. I'm trying to climb back up, but it's, there's a potential of falling again. So as of September 26th, that's where I'm at. Where I'm starting to go forward is with my 19 years of experience, um, I'm also trying I set up a new website with, with me as the business. Um, no, two, for, two front attacks. I am setting it up for insulting business, and like if you look at all the online marketers, uh, you can either try to do sales, like when they might mean by sales, they might find something from like Alibaba or like a thrift store or something, finding gems there, marking it up and reselling, or uh, drop shipping. Drop shipping for people who don't know is like you do something as I said like Alibaba, which is uh, kind of like the Chinese Amazon which is really cheap, but not the best at customer service or delivery. Um, and you basically drop ship, which means instead of having to send you, and then you send it to your customer, you send it directly to a customer from Alibaba. So you basically put it on your site, then go buy it. Um, a lot of your shopping cart softwares are, start, are starting to make it so you can't drop ship. Um, or you're heavily penalizing a lot of the merchant accounts. The merchants is how you get your credit card. How you can actually do that. So they are um, also making it more difficult as well. Um, 
but consulting for whatever niche you're in, like whatever whatever job, even if you whatever job you worked before, um, you can become a consultant in that. Uh, it takes some a bit of skill to get some clients, so I'm trying to do that because I now there's a lot of martial art consultants and I've used a lot of them, uh, but they're usually for people established businesses or those are, like struggling obviously usually or those trying to get to the next level. But I am setting up myself as somebody who wants to help a martial arts school go from a club, which is like as a part-time hobby, to an actual full business, or those just starting out making sure they have all their bases covered. They do all the, the basics that a martial arts school, a professional school should do. That's what I'm looking for consulting. Obviously, I'm also trying to uh, get private clients for teaching, and eventually uh, rebuild to a um, full martial arts school. I want to, um, I thought a lot about this. There's a lot of options. The great thing about starting over, if you can get past the survival mode, uh, and I still haven't done that yet, so I'm still in that stage, but I'm also preparing for stage two, what I call stage two, which is um, doing what I want. I looked at a lot of different things. I mean, I thought, when I originally did my original martial art, I um, moved to Japan. Um, I had a job, though. Uh, well, my first time I went over as a college student, I did a year abroad. And I was teaching English, uh, made some good money doing that, and studied my martial art. Then got a job with the Merrill Lynch, and went back for six more years. So I had really good ground grounding in my martial art, and then came back. And I never originally meant to do it as a business. I uh, came back, started teaching one guy in the park. At that time, I was the highest. There was hardly anybody teaching my, the style of Budo Taijutsu, which is what I taught then. Uh, in the area, so that was really easy. It grew pretty fast because, it, and even when I went professionally, it grew really, really fast. Um, I had people coming from West Hollywood down to Torrance to uh, train with me. Um, I had known back then that if you got on the cover or even the back cover of Penny Saver, you could get 20, 30 new students a month. Uh, I would have done that. But once again, you don't know what you don't know. Now I have 19 years of experience. So I'm going to try to put that to the best use I can with info marketing and as well as try to keep teaching. So this is my first installment. Um, I don't have enough subscribers, so I really appreciate it. I have a GoFundMe page. So if you want to donate some money there, I'd appreciate it. I still have to see if I can get on Patreon or something like that. Um, so if you can like and subscribe, I'd appreciate that. Help me get towards that 2,000 mark where I can actually start uh, monetizing this channel. Um, especially if you want to watch the journey, see um, somebody who actually did have to start all the way over again at, at age 50 and rebuild from that. See you in the next video.